if you live in the South and you love steak, I have a very scary story for you. But most people who live in the South don't love barbecue or steak, right? Nah, no, no way, no, nah. No. They, they just, they, they love vegan stuff and... I think yeah. so, they definitely don't make fun of it all the time. There is a tick, it is called a Lone Star Tick. Not because it is from Texas, but it is from Texas, because it has a white spot on its back. That's how you can identify how it looks. Mm. And it is found in a lot of the southern and eastern United States. We have a map. Oh, even up in Maine. That's not south. Okay. That is like <laughs> south, south, south and east, southeast. South and east, and Dang. especially southeast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So if you live on the western side or the north, good on you. But <laughs> if you don't, this may be a little bit troubling because the tick's bite is thought to cause the body to react to a complex sugar molecule shortened to, uh, well, we call it alpha-gal, but it can be called galactose alpha-1, three galactose, but we'll call it alpha-gal for this. And some people do have an allergy to this. Mm. So previous years, it was 3,500 people in the U.S. Now it's at 5,000. It does seem Ooh. to be growing. That's not good. Um, but certain people are thought to be allergic to this so that when they, after they have the bite and they eat red meat or pork, or venison, their body would react, but not immediately. But this seems to, you have an anaphylactic reaction hours later. Yeah. Uh, so many of the reports say in the middle of the night, there would be just uncontrollable itching all over the body and just mm. extreme stomach pains. I and really hate that. <laughs> some people become deathly allergic to meat, just from a ah, bite. Man, that's terrifying. It's called, it's, and that can spread, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know. I just like that's like a well. That's like I mean, luckily it's it's fairly rare. It does happen though. But I mean, even people who don't have the the, the certain antibodies to the alpha gal in their their bloodstream might not develop it. Yeah. But if that happened, if that happens to you, or if that has happened to you, I would go see a doctor because you may have that allergy to an, to alpha gal now. Yeah, as if ticks weren't already gross and scary. This is just like on another level. I don't think I've ever seen a tick. Uh, I had person. a I had a tick once. Uh, it just kind of like attaches to you, and you see like a little red the dot because there's blood in it, and you just kind of flick it off. But it's really gross, really Ooh. really gross. Yeah. So. So please be careful. Follow the CDC's recommendations for avo avoiding tick bites if you live in the affected area. Mm -hmm. But if you do get bitten, don't freak out. You can handle it. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. See a doctor. You can do this. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> but we're gonna eat some steak. Never miss another Nerd Alert video by ringing the bell below. You'll get notified whenever we publish something new. And don't forget to join TYT today. Download our TYT Plus app on your phone or head over to tyt.com slash join.